Welcome to Blank Minecrafting. I'm your host, Charles. Uh, today is going to be another uh, unboxing of uh, Wrath of Kings. This time a Ravager Alpha. Uh, I actually have never put uh, one of these together. So, I have no clue how it looks. But, like uh, all of Wrath of Kings, just uh, have to take the plastic off to get inside the box. <laughs> I'll go into the trash. And that lovely plastic container. Put that in the back. Uh, let's see. Get a really huge base in this one. Uh, as you can see, this fills up almost a six by six square, uh, three by three square, sorry. So three inches by three inches. A little bit bigger, uh, but it is really cool. Then we get uh, the card to help you with your stats. Let's get this out. Uh, show you. It looks really cool. Uh, and the specials on the back. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put that in the, the container. Same as. As I drop the base. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's going to be one of those days. Oh well. Uh, so this Ravager um, is really, really cool looking. Um, super big. Um, let me uh, open the, the plastic. Learn to dump every piece of the model out so I know how they look. But let's say really big uh, model right there. Okay, so again, they fit really good. Uh, as long as you put them in correctly. Um, if you watched the last video, I did do something incorrectly. But hey, it happens, right? But yeah. actually, it was really cool that uh, that problem happened because I could uh, fix it. Um, but this guy, uh, let's see. See? Uh, can you see that little piece right there? That little plastic? That can be a hindrance. So I'm just going to cut that off and shave. So um, if you have the lines from the casting, um, all you have to do is kind of shave it. Uh, and then you works. Get my uh, trusty glue out, <laughs> right? Everybody has their their favorite glue. Mine's, of course, super glue. And so, get this up in there correctly. Okay, so you can see there's a joint here that doesn't fully connect. I'm going to wait till uh, the super glue dries and then I can show you what I would do with the 
with that. Um, here is my my Insta, my Insta set. Then, after the Insta set, I, I learned to kind of uh, get some of that off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but as you can see, there's a little bit of that left. So I'm going to get up and get my mellow putty. Millipotty uh, hardens to plastic, so that's the good part. Uh, uh, so, you can take a piece. We don't need that much. So, I'm just going to... About how much I need right there. Uh, put them in their plastics again and put them back away. Basically, trying to keep my station kind of clean ish. Um, however, you see all the minis right there. <laughs> That's just, uh, you know, us hobbyists. Uh, we end up uh, having a lot of minis around. So, Mellow Putty, you just have to smash it together. Uh, equal parts, and once you have that, you want to take a little bit and fill the Basically, fill the joints in. So you get uh, a seamless um, joint. <laughs> okay. So, with uh, Milliputty, I have, as you can see, clay um, tools that I can just basically form into the areas because you want it to look like it belongs there so As you can see, just taking it and feeling it to basically make it smooth. Now, once it dries, I'll come over with a little piece of uh, sandpaper over it. But that's all Milliputty is for, usually. Um, okay. So... Again, putting this together. Uh, I don't like making mistakes, but sometimes it happens. And there's a good line of extra plastic on this. So, I don't want that line. So, some people use a file, which that's good. Uh, I tend to use a, a knife, a exacto knife, and just scrape it. Use the side and kind of scrape it. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, use a file. Um, 
Okay. There. Ooh. That is pretty cool looking. Okay, let's get that glued in. <laughs> oh. I'm liking this guy already. Um, big bed has uh, some uh, mutagens going on. Makes it pretty fun. Um, I make a really fun uh, painting this guy. So, yeah. See his mutagen area. If you can, it's that green. Okay, we have uh, the wings. As you can see again, there's some overlay. It happens on models, especially 3D printed models. Um, have to clean up a lot of different um, plastic areas. Uh -huh. This one actually is pretty good. Except for right there. This time I was on the other side. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, glue these bad boys in now. There we go. That's how this uh, bad boy looks. Okay. Well, I have to let that milliputty uh, dry. Uh, it takes about uh, three to four hours for that to dry. Uh, in the meantime, I have other um, Wrath of Kings models that I'm doing. I'll pull out these guys you can see this is what I'm painting um, highlights um, let the camera focus there we go uh, then this one This guy is going to be the really cool. I'm going to put uh, dots on top of the, the legs, the octopus legs. I really like how the, the trident turned out. Um, there's the back. Kind of a purplish armor, I guess, purple and black. I still have to do a lot of work on these guys, uh, but that's the ones that I've finished and I'm just painting. Uh, if you like my channel, again, please hit that uh, like button and hit that subscribe button. Uh, you know, it's free. You just uh, follow and watch the different stuff I, I end up doing. Um, well, here's one I finished, uh, one of the werewolves. Uh, just a little bit right there for you. Uh, so, yeah, I, w I really uh, do love uh, these figures you can pick them up uh, a lot of different places uh, but I'm probably gonna paint it more like this the 
white fur with the, the green. Uh, and I'm also on Instagram under Blank Minecrafting. Uh, you can see all of my past projects or the ones I'm doing right now. Uh, so, uh, it's another day, another model put together and just needing to primer and paint. Uh, the hobbyist's job never ends, right, folks? Till next time.